so the advanced find filtering option here instead of using advanced find up here in the ribbon we've got the ability to apply an advanced find on the current view that we're on so when we click onto here you can see it will pull it in status is active which is what this view is looking at if i wanted to then say look at you know a related entity information then i can look at that if i want to look at adding a group in i can if i add a row in here as well then you can see i can look at something like this let's look at origin um, equals and then we can say um, web for example and then we can apply this and then what it does is it then applies those filters to this view that we're looking at so you can now see active and origin is web in here 26 results um, if you want to go and adjust it you can just come in here and open that back up equally if you want to clear the filters you click here clear filters and then it just clears those filters on here you don't have to now do an advanced find and then save it as a new view you can just apply those filters to the view you're on So quick find search. So when we're on, again, specific views, we have the ability to click in here and search this view. So you can see I've got one in here that says an issue with CCTV in a lorry. So if I come over here and I search for CCTV and we search this, it will only search this view that we're currently on. You can see it returns results. Equally, if I move across to another team and I search for the same thing, it returns no results. Now previously when you used the search features on these views, it used to load the quick find search view. So it would search across the whole entity. So i.e. in this case, cases. Now we can set it to just search on the individual views if need be. Um, administrators can change this back if needed, um, but it now just searches on the current view that you're in for your results. So a couple of the timeline improvements as well in the new UI. Um, we have the ability to see the status from the timeline. So you can see like this will active, closed, um, overdue. Um, a couple of different things in there that we can see. Um, we've got rich text editing now. So when we add a note, you can see, obviously then you can customize the fonts, the font sizes, make it bold, make it stand out and everything else. So rich text formatting on notes is, is, is a noose nice new feature um, and obviously then you know a couple of extra filters that we can now have by filtering out the timeline here if you just want to filter this out based on you know activities or notes um, you can come down here activity type activity statuses you've got a lot more filters you can do posted by as well so if it's an auto post or by somebody modified date just a couple of an enhanced um, filter capabilities in here that you can do um, if I just pick email here and you can see also, just scroll down here, if you've sent the email from um, Dynamics, then you'll also get to see a couple of these things as well. So when it was sent and when it was opened. So obviously if you're following it, tracking it from the database and you send it out from here, a couple of these nice new features as well on the timeline. So when we're on opportunities, we've now got the ability to, you can see here if I click add product, it will just add a product one by one in the usual manner. We now have this additional add products tab over here. And what this enables us to do is it will show based on this price list that you have selected here, it will load up all of your products. You've got the ability to search for a product. Um, you can see it will obviously just show you by default all of these and you can click load more and scroll through this. And then if you want one of these, you can just go through and click add, 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 add them to the selected item over here. You can look at recently used products as well. Are these all the ones that you might have recently used? You know, if it's, if it's a product that you're using all the time, it's great. Um, equally, you can come over here and you can add in a postage and packaging. There you go, 100 pounds. Add that as well. And you can see that adds that to the selected. And then as soon as you click add to opportunity, it adds all of those that you've added in together. So Kanban boards, Kanban boards, I think are one of the one of the best features that have come out of release wave one. Um, you can see up here when you're on a view, once you've enabled the custom control for Kanban boards, you've got the ability to then click here, let's show as Kanban or go back to your just normal read only grid that you would normally see on a system view. Once you've gone to Kanban, then you can see here, you can display it. So this one here is just showing me, you know, our business process flow, the various different stages. It's based on here. So you, what you could do is you could take something from one stage and move it into the next like that. You can see you can quite easily move these around. Um, and obviously then you can see here, instead of using business process flow, you can use statuses. 
So this view is looking at open opportunities. Everything over here is an open status. Let's just say I wanted to close this opportunity off. You know, I can click into it and I can see a preview. It won't take up the whole screen. It will show 75% of the screen. You can go in and adjust this. You could quite easily click close as one or close as lost here in the usual manner. Equally, I might just want to get this and move this into this stage and change the status like this and say, okay, close as one. As soon as you do this, it will still give you the close as one dialog box. You can fill the details out in here, close that off, and you can see it's now moved it from one status to the next. Um, case resolution dialog forms. Um, in the past, obviously, when we click on resolve case here, we can never customize the fields that appeared on the form. Um, we've now got the ability to do that. So you can see over here, um, on the case resolution form that we're on, you can see I've added in a couple of additional fields over here, delivery priority and customers. Again, you can see you can add any fields in here. Just drop and drag those on, obviously save and publish in the normal manner. Um, once you've done that, when you're on a case and then you click on the resolve option, you can see it pops up a customizable form. And then down here you can see delivery priority and customers, those two additional fields I added before I published. Um, it's, it's outside the standard form that you'd normally see. So you can then obviously adjust the values in here and have additional fields. A couple of improvements to knowledge, um, the knowledge base in the customer service hub. Um, first thing we can see, obviously we're on knowledge articles and you create a brand new knowledge article. Um, you've got a, a lot more options in terms of you know the fonts, um, the different types of sizing that you might have. You can also now copy and paste anything coming from an office related document. So from Word or from Excel and paste it in here, it will retain the format. Um, the ability to add in tables like this, the ability to add in any sort of embedded media as well that you might need in here. Um, so a couple of, couple of changes to actually you know producing the knowledge base articles. Once these are obviously produced, we then also have the ability, regardless of where you are, not just on a case, anywhere in the customer service hub, we've got the knowledge search over here on the left hand side. So you can go in here and then you can search for something that might be a keyword and then it will return all your results. Equally, if I just do that and put my uh, wildcard search in, which is that, it will then return all of the results. Once you've got the results in here, you have the ability to pop this out if you need to. So I just click on the little pop out here. That will then just show you in a, in a related tab, you know, what the details are around this knowledge base article. You can come in here, you can like them. Obviously then you can see the views as well. And when you're on the knowledge base articles themselves, what you'll be able to then see on the analytics tab here is, you know, feedback. So how many times it was been viewed, when it was viewed, how many cases it was related to, and obviously then the re related feedback here based on your likes. Finally, the ability to uh, scan business cards um, in the database against a lead or a contact. Um, we come up to a quick create, quick create a lead. You get the scan business card option here. Um, you can quite easily go through and fill out all these details out. If we click scan business card, you're on your desktop. You can then just pick an image that you've already saved. You can then see, hopefully it will scan that card and then it will put in all the details from it, show you the image put the rest of the details in here. Of course, then you can fill in any other fields that you might need. Equally, if you found there's a few discrepancies potentially in there like that, you can still go through and adjust it. Um, again, this is available on leads and contacts. Click save and close. This will then just go through and it will create you a new lead.